Hello there, welcome to Anzi's Artistry. I'm so glad to have you here. Um, today I have a canvas size 18 by 24 inches and I'm going to be trying a Dutch plume in which I'm going to be pouring colors in the center of the canvas and I'm going to blow them out so it looks like a flower. Um, for the base I have a dark gray. It's actually the paint that I scraped from my last painting. Um, I'm going to use that dark shade of gray and a little bit of lighter shade of gray with some blacks and I'm going to have that as base. And for layering I have all shades of magentas I have. Before I start today's painting I want to show you how my previous painting dried. So here we have the rainbow painting, the one that I scraped first because I, it didn't um, work for me. And this is the second attempt. I really like how this one turned out. No top coat yet, it is still drying, but beautiful. Uh, I can clearly see the seven colors of the rainbow in here. So I'm very happy with how this one is dry. So there we have it. So for today's painting, a dark gray base with magenta as the color to go. I'm going to put down the base paint um, I might keep you on and speed this process up just to show you uh, how I'm going to get my base color because I don't want it to be one solid color everywhere. It's going to be uh, like a 3D look. So let's see how this one works. All my paints that I'm going to be using today are mixed with uh, Floetrol and water. Um, I use the ratio one part paint to two part Floetrol and a little bit of water to it. And all of them have similar consistency. I do the drip test every time I mix up a new paint or every time I start a new painting just to make sure uh, that they flow um, consistently. Um, I guess that's it. Let's get on with today's painting. So this is how I wanted to create the 3D kind of base, not one color all throughout, just have a little bit of different shades of gray. I'm very happy, I'm so happy that I just want to just let this one dry, it looks beautiful. Uh, but no, uh, maybe next time. So this time I'm gonna continue with my painting. Now we are gonna pop all the air bubbles here. Okay, let's start layering the paint. That's the light magenta. The second one is the deep magenta. Next is Light Magenta by Artist Loft. Oops. Then I think I want to add a little bit of the white here. Then I have 
quinacridone rose. Next is Brilliant Magenta. And then on top, I'm going to have Quinacridone Magenta by Liquitex. I'm hoping that's good enough for the flower that I'm going to blow out now. Let's pop these air bubbles. I think I'm going to put a little bit of white in the center. Okay, let's blow it out. Okay, so that's the basic design. I have five petals. I'm going to go and work a little bit more on the edges now. Looks beautiful. I would call this a success. It looks kind of like hibiscus to me. I don't know if I add the stamen in the middle, it might show up as hibiscus, but you know what hibiscus, the center is darker. This one has white. Uh, one flower, I don't know which one. I don't want that to fall off, so I'm really being careful with that well i don't want to modify anything i think it's a wrap i'm going to bring you down for a close-up now 
So here is the close-up. A beautiful flower right in the middle of this canvas. So I usually tend to do offset but for this one I wanted to try the center and it looks really beautiful. Um, I do like the base. I might just do another painting like this and not add anything in between just the base and then just leave it to dry. So this is how it looks right now. This flower is beautiful. The contrast that the magenta is going to give against that gray is going to be superb. I know it's going to dry beautiful. Let's go closer. You see the base color little seeping through the petal. That's what makes the painting interesting in my opinion. Uh, the blending of one into another. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. The center has given me some lacing as well. Beautiful. So I like the base. I like the flower on top of it. And I love the painting as a whole. So if you did like this video process, please do hit that thumbs up button. And please do consider subscribing if you haven't already. If you have subscribed to my channel, I thank you for your support. I appreciate you being here and I hope to see you in my next video. Until then, take care. Bye. Happy pouring.